Hi everyone, Arthur International came to Portugal and we're here to visit the solo exhibition by artist Paula Tishira Lopes, Ethereum, The Journey. Let's go meet the artist. We're in Oporto, Portugal with artist Paulo Tejeira Lopes. Did I get it right? Yes. And we're here admiring your works in this wonderful exhibition, Ethereum, A Journey. What is the exhibition about, Ethereum? Um, look, th this is exhibition, it's not only Ethereum, it's, it's three phases of the, the exhibit of my work, but Ethereum is the, the important uh, work that is here, only a small part, because I can get, I can't get all the, the paintings. Uh, Ethereum is uh, uh, the deepest project that I have uh, that begins in two, two under, 2007 <laughs> um, and uh, uh, it begins about uh, thinking in the project himself like that. Um, I was trying to know I'm trying to discover the, the best way to, to work in something that means to me uh, that way I could work better because I, was, I, I have the knowledge. So I reunited uh, some points uh, and uh, started to organize those points in, the, in a, a team. That team begins to be uh, something that uh, have to be have to to to, um, to make sense to the, the society uh, have to make sense to me like human being have to make sense to the art and and um, the team that I liked the most was to know people know how they work how they how they live how they do the everyday journey. So I began to have an, uh, a, a sight about um, a journey, my journey, about life, uh, and thinking about what was important uh, in being myself, being here, at this time, at this age. So I start to think about what was important, the, what was the, the problems that we didn't focus yet because there were uh, non uh, addictable uh, it was uh, the two ideas I have, it was uh, the sex was a taboo, taboo uh, yes. uh, and life and death, death mm -hmm. was the other taboo. Yes. So society don't talk about that, it's yes, the problem. It's so, but sex, it um, adds a connection with the, the um, reproduction, so it's uh, life itself. Uh, but death, it's the end. So that's a taboo, in English taboo, it's, uh, it's taboo, taboo. taboo. Yeah. Uh, in, uh, so that taboo was the problem, the biggest problem for us to cease to exist, to the end, to get to get the the knowledge about what is after that so i start to think in art i can discuss everything because i'm an artist i'm a fool i'm, I'm <laughs> i can talk about everything if i was a scientist i couldn't so in art that's the place where i will talk about that so it's a crazy idea okay let's do it um death life journey my journey the everyday journey about everyone. So Ethereum, what is Ethereum? Ethereum begins to assume its form at the fourth, fifth uh, painting that I made because the idea about uh, living um, was growing too fast. So I started work about doing two stripes, black stripes, one down, one up, that uh, the downer stripe was the, the burning place uh, be behind the burning time and uh, the stripe uh, upper stripe was the, the dead time so, so when, uh, that line that divides the painting from the black so lots of play, uh, paintings uh, that are in the in here and in a book have uh, that two stripes so wherever goes between the two stripes, it's our lives, 
It's our colorful life. It's our real world. Our world is colorful. It's a lot of colors, a lot of uh, movements, a lot of energy, etc. So I began to, to, to search between those stripes, black stripes. Um, what is the matter? What is the problem? What is the, the important thing that grows there? So I divided in, in phases. So I wanted to know what was before my uh, burning, uh, I burned, and uh, what is after my death. But like everyone, uh, everyone, not everyone, uh, I couldn't um, explain or I didn't experience it, that that feel that that thing. So I start to a scientific method to uh, try to um, synthesize the the important things about uh, the real things. So I start to divide Ethereum in particular problems. So I get a big picture. So the, that particular problems were the elements, uh, uh, air, fire, uh, water, and earth um, in, in the Occident, Oriental are different. So then the, the, the idea, I, I, in the first exhibition in 2007, I made uh, two sides of um, a room. Uh, one side was real, the other side was um, unreal, it was not unreal, it was, um, uh, no, no, it was without body. So okay. I tried to, the element, uh, four elements in the, right, in the left side, one element, energy, in the right side. Okay. And then I go through that room in, in a Z because I always travel between that thing that is in our minds and that thing that is in our lives, real, for real, that hurts. So this was the beginning of the project. The project is too dense. It takes several years to get through that, this uh, last phase, the third one, that is about me, about my life. Because I, I have questions in, uh, about uh, uh, good and bad, uh, positive, negative, energies, family and friends, the crossroads about people, uh, about uh, the, the sacrifice, the pain, the, the importance of the pain. Because that's in a pain that we see ourselves. Uh, because when I, we are happy, we are looking out. We are receiving, we are happy, we are joyful. So when we, we experience that pain, we start to think about ourselves. We close the door, we go to our room, and in the, the dark side, this music is about the pain. It's uh, morning, it's one of them. Um, and uh, that importance, it's, it's big. I think that uh, we grow in, in the pain. Is, that painting that is there, it's the flame, ashes flame, that uh, asks, ask ourselves, it's, it's like that, the, the, poetry, the poetic text is, is similar to this, that he asks, because he goes to your references, so you understand the, the, the question, is, are we uh, dead, dead flames, are we ashes of flames, uh, this whole way, this whole journey ends like this, it's here, it's impossible. So that's the, one of the paintings that isn't here, it's Ethereum, it's a big one, uh, that has that same, that final question, that if we, I'm the, the, place, the place of birth starts to grow, getting experiences, difficulties, uh, pains, losts, um, growing, feeling that life, loving, caring, uh, sons, family, crossroads, people, change people minds, uh, change uh, infant minds, uh, changing students even. Um, all this, this changing makes the end impossible to end that, that place. So that's the, the final question in the first phase. So the second phase, it's continuum. That is um, a transition that talks about the, the, the black stripes 
uh, they disappear from the horizontal way, uh, place and start to be in vertical way. Because I noticed that the important it's not dying. Yes. So continuum, it's that. It's um, dismystifying the, the idea of death in, is important because it's the end. Uh, it's giving the, the importance of being alive, alive and being alive and kicking. So, <laughs> so that's the important thing. So, um, continuum, it's short, it's a second phase, it's short, but he has some, uh, uh, some questions about the existence, about that, that idea. So in the third phase, I analyze what is important, and importance. I give the importance to my mom, my my dad. My, uh, I give importance. Yes, I give importance to the the way, like I. Um, and this is incredible. <laughs> this is a present life in in the in ties of a present, because we should live life. Like every day was a present, yes. and we opened that present every day in the morning, and start to be prepared and curious to uh, open the present of the, the other day that comes again, that comes uh, later. Like yeah, life like a present. Uh, this is an example of what is surface, uh, or that one that is um, the way I live my life inside my train looking through the window and seeing the flames of people that are leaving the, those pains and those joys. And I see them going through my window, like a trip. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, in my journey, I, can, I can't um, forget that are other people's. Uh, uh, th those people live joys and pains and growth and change all this environment too. Uh, this is an example. Um, interesting example is this one in the back, because it's life in an orgasm. Uh, it's uh, it's like it's the emotion of seeing an orgasm. Seeing because we can feel it. We can can't see it. We can feel the emotion of an orgasm. What I made here is um, to have the analogy of uh, have, um, the idea of life and an orgasm. Is that we, when we make the preliminaries, we are uh, growing in our youth. When we go from a relationship to another, uh, there are several small uh, I ideas of climax orgasm. Uh, but when I f we found that person that changed our lives and make our children a family, uh, it's that the climax when we live those moments. Then we start to go down, but the intense intensity of uh, having someone that loves us, we love, tenderness, growing old, uh, have sons, seeing their grow, this is an orgasm. Yeah. It's like that, we grow old, it's the end of the orgasm, but it's the, perhaps the rich, the richest time of our lives, yeah. to stop looking, looking to ourselves and having the time to look to the others. Because I think that Ethereum was the hardest, mm. the biggest, the, the deepest uh, project I made in all my life. Uh, I think only from uh, 2007 to 2013, but uh, it's, it's big. It students and passes through several phases of my life. So I think everything are childs from Ethereum. <laughs> so um, I think that uh, I love music, uh, I love play, I love the, the musicians, all, the, all those arts. Uh, I think I love the human being, being himself. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, will be a son of Ethereum. Ethereum is my dream. And my dream was to have words to tell to the society, to the, the humankind. 
that means any sen sense that make uh, make us live our lives the right way. Uh, I had that dream. I think Ethereum, through art, through emotion, that uh, through affection, it's the w the right way to get through those people. And that way, I can um, make the the some changes. I know that there are so many different faces yeah. of this project because there's music, uh, yes. dance. A mix up of, of uh, those arts. It's dance, music, uh, poetry, uh, painting. Tell us how, how was the process of creating the music? The tonal scale was made by João Madeira that created, uh, that uh, uh, picked up the, the, the name of the painting and about mathematics it goes to the, 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 the tone scale. At the stone scale, he, he works the rhythm, and he uh, composed the the musics for five paintings. The music it's a complement; it's 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 part of the painting. So there is one music for each of each painting. YouTube, Paul Teixeira Lopes. Uh, you can see the dancers, the choreography, the music, the the paintings, etc. So, what is the website? Uh, my website is uh, wordpress.com. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks for your time. Thanks to me too. Thanks to you. To no, no, that no. should thanks because it's so difficult to to get through and get this message. Uh, so you the, the the what you are doing to me in my journey today. It's one of the crossroads that made the difference. Yes. So I have to thank you because thank of you. the opportunity to, to yeah. talk to me. <laughs> thanks. thanks. Thanks a lot. And thanks everybody. And yes, go. you can visit uh, Paulo's website and also the YouTube channel. So we'll, we'll continue seeing him. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ciao.